Okay, so this is the second episode of answering your question. What is the best sleeper house that I have been at on Lake of the Woods? Now, like I said last time, um, that's not a question that I'm going to be saying this is the best house. Instead, what I want to do is give you an overview of every house that I've been at and let you decide what is the best house for you and the time that you're going up. So today, we're looking at Sportsman Sleepers. So Sportsman Sleepers is located directly across the street from Sportsman's Lodge on the Rainy River. Now you're going to check in at the little trailer office that they have and then they're going to bring the bombardier over to where your cars are located and you're going to bring all your gear and put it in the trailer or the bombardier itself then they will drive you out to the house now as far as location that's going to change throughout the year but where you're starting of course is going out of wheelers point across pine island and you're going to be down in that lower part of the bowl now they're going to move you around throughout the year i mean as as, as most places do they go out further go out deeper uh, looking for fish as the fish are moving to get all the information as far as what they provide, if I miss anything in this overview, you can find it on their website and I will put that link in the description below. Now to start off, it's important to know that their houses are basically all the same. So there would be a couple minor differences. All but one are 12 by 18. I believe they have one house that's 12 by 14. The rest are 12 by 18, that's all I've ever stayed at. And they are all designed the same way. So the benefit of that is you know exactly what you're gonna get each time that you come to their house. You know how it's gonna be laid out, you're gonna know what they provide and what you need to, to bring. So let's just take a look at the blueprint so I can walk you around the 12 by 18 Sportsman Sleeper. So this is their standard 12 by 18 house. And as you can see on along one side, this is the bunks uh, here and here and the bottom goes all the way across at 12 feet with a sleeping pad on it now above each side they're going to have about six feet of an of another bunk that's hanging kind of from the wall slash ceiling so you can technically get about six people in these houses now i would argue that these houses are perfect for four people but you can get six and they do have a break with children as far as costs. I believe actually that if they're young enough, they might fish for free. They might go out there for free. So that's something to look into. Now, Sportsman's does pay per person, not per the house. So on these uh, you know, bottom bunks that go all the way across with the pad, you can choose to either uh, sit on those and face each other while you're fishing, which is what we usually do. And if you do that, you probably wanna bring something that might go behind your back something that would give you a little bit of support. Um, or you can bring a chair, or a lot of times they have folding chairs that you can set up uh, in the middle square of the house in this area and fish back to back. It's really up to you. Now, one thing, again, with these troughs here, um, you know, that's 12 feet across. So when you have four holes, you really have quite a bit of space between each hole, probably about three to four feet. If you were gonna put in six holes, I'm guessing, um, I, well, if you were gonna put in six holes, obviously that would shrink down the amount of space that you would have between each hole. And so that could lead to a little bit more tangle ups. Now, one of the things I really like about Sportsman's is this open setup. So when you're all sitting there along on the, on the bunk sides and looking at each other, it's really easy to see when the other person has a fish, even just conversation. So. You've got the bunks, you've got the trough in front, you've got uh, the heater is right here to the right of when you enter the door. This is the doorway. And then this is the electrical plug. So the electrical plug, you know, if you're taking a, having a generator, you're gonna have that line coming from outside right to here. And this is where you're gonna wanna have, uh, what I have is, is usually a extension cord with a junction box so that we can charge everything more at the center um, of the house here. Now, on the newer houses, they have plugs over on this side and this side of the bunk. And those are attached to a battery uh, that's being recharged by the solar panel, along with a TV up here. Now, again, you're gonna wanna call and find out which house you're gonna get, because if you want entertainment, like a TV, you're gonna have to bring that yourself unless you get one of these houses. 
Um, and I don't know how many they have of those. I don't know if that's something they're upgrading each year and they're, and they're uh, hoping to get them all like that or if that's just something that they have a few houses like that. We were, Like I said, we were lucky enough to have one last time. This would be the uh, oven area. They have a nice workspace to both um, prepare meals but also to clean fish if you would want. And then a sink that, uh, that drains outside the house. Now one thing I didn't put out here or put on this blueprint is they do have an outdoor bathroom but it's attached to the house in this back corner. I should have put that on there but I didn't. Um, so you have to go outside and go around to get into to that area. Um, again, pros and cons, you know, it's colder um, to be out there uh, but it's also not attached to the house so you don't interfere with other people's enjoyment of their space. So as I said before on their website you can find their house rates and again you are paying per person and then in their general information and policies it's really uh, they break down everything what they provide they give you some pictures um, cancellation payment method I will tell you that they at least up till now they do not take credit cards so that will be check or cash and any question that you have uh, about their services should be answered in this general information policies they really do a good job of breaking down what they provide what you need to bring so before I wrap this up I just want to point out a couple of things that stand out as far as what they provide like I said before, you are going to be transported out there. They will check on you daily. You will not be driving yourself. So that will change a little bit about the way that you pack. Two, they are going to provide bait. They're going to provide live bait. So what they're going to provide are fatheads that will check in on that daily and give you more as you need it. Now, if you're going to be looking to bring up frozen shiners, sucker minnows, something like that, that's something that you're going to have to provide, but they will provide bait. Three, they're going to provide pots, pans, flatware, utensils, that kind of thing that will all be underneath in the kitchen section uh, and all the basics they will provide. If you want a, something specific, if you have a specific like non-stick pan you want to use or cast iron, I would suggest you bring that, but they will provide all the basics. Four, they will have a, a stove and a stove top and oven. They also provide uh, water in a uh, five gallon uh, pail and they will come out uh, daily and check on that water if you need more. And the last thing that I already talked about but I'm going to bring it up again is electricity and a TV. You're going to have to call them and figure out which house you have. If they have the extra solar panel in the house that, and the extra battery that's going to run the TV, if you're going to need to provide your own uh, generator or if they have a generator there that's available, again that's $40 per day. So those are the, all the basics of uh, what Sportsman Sleepers provides. Again, check them out on the website. They have everything in detail. And if they don't answer your questions on the website, you can give them a call right there on the website. They have the number. I'll put the link for their website in the description below. And hopefully this is enough information that will help you make a good decision on whether or not Sportsman's is the right fit for you and your fishing crew. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Sleeper House Overviews.